Hey everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. This is probably one of the videos I've been asked to make for so so long. I can't even remember when I first got my Jimny back in 2021. A lot of you guys were asking me about a video going through the whole setup of a three-door Jimny and I thought this was the perfect time to do it. Like not only am I out here in the beautiful Glasshouse Mountains, but I wanted to make sure that when I was going through the Jimny that I was sort of feeling quite sort of done with it. I guess obviously there will always be things that I will be putting on the Jimny as we go. But for this video, I feel like this is going to be the perfect time to go through all of the mods that I have on the three door Jimny. And I guess I just also want to talk about things that I would have done differently. So with this video, it's not sponsored by anyone. This is my honest opinion about these products that I have on my car. And I really hope that this will be a good video for you if you are considering kitting out your three-door Jimny uh, or even your five-door Jimny. For some of you that might follow me on Instagram, you might already know that I have gotten a five-door Jimny as well as the three-door. So it's very exciting. So we'll be doing a lot of stuff on that one as well. But in this video, we'll be going through the three-door and I'm super excited to show you guys what I got going on for it. And also a couple of things that, you know, might be coming in the near future. So yeah, let's get into it. So with the three-door Jimny, I wanted to start at the bottom. The thing that I get a lot of questions about is what type of suspension setup I have and how that has impacted my overall driving of the car, why I chose to go with what I ended up going with. So basically what I have chosen is the Ironman 50 millimeter GVM upgrade. What it does is that it increases the load that you can legally carry in your car when it is um, packed inside of the car. So it doesn't increase the weight that you can have on the, your roof. It doesn't increase your towing capacity. It only increases the weight inside of the car. So I got the GVM upgrade for this car specifically because I wanted to use it for a lot of camping, driving, going to Fraser Island. So with the GVM upgrade, I figured that if I get that going, I can pack a lot of stuff into the car and be sure that, you know, I'll still be insured something would happen. But the 50 millimeter upgrade um, in terms of the lift kit that comes with the GVM upgrade for at least the Ironman suspension. There's probably a lot of other good ones out there at the moment, so it might be worth checking out. But in terms of that lift kit, I've been very happy with it. I haven't had any issues. Um, and it's been overall a really good upgrade on my car. Moving on to the tires. So what I got is the BF Goodrich KO2s all terrains. So these are the 235, 75, 15. And they have been awesome. I've had them for about 30,000, 35,000 kilometers now. Been super happy with them. A lot of people say that they can come across as quite slippery during normal driving. But what I noticed is that a lot of people also don't decrease their tire pressure. A lot of people would still pump in, you know, 35, 40 PSI in the Jimny. And in my opinion, of course, it's going to make it feel really slippery because you're going to have a really hard tire and it's going to be easier to slip on the road. So generally I drive around 30 PSI in my tires and I don't have any issues with slipping or anything. I don't try to go really fast around corners or maybe I have to go faster to experience that. But I know that some people have had some issues with sidewalls. Um, of the BF Goodrich. Um, the Jimneys are so light, so generally I haven't seen any issues with them, um, at least for me or any of my friends that have been using them. But yeah, so I've been really happy with them. Uh, and in terms of the rims, so I recently upgraded my rims. Before I had the dynamic steely rims. Uh, they, they're quite heavy. Um, what I probably didn't notice was that I was really happy with the dynamic rims and they've been really good. And I definitely understand that a lot of people are buying them because, you know, it is a cheaper um, option. You don't have to go with something like alloy, which will be more expensive. But in terms of the, um, the Row 120 wheels, these ones feel extremely lighter than the dynamic rims. Uh, the overall handling of the vehicle seems quite different. Like I gotta be honest, when I first got into the car after driving the, with the dynamic rims and then I switched over to the, the alloys, it's been so, so different. Um, so in terms of the rims, I've been super happy with them. They look awesome, really good quality. I haven't had them on for that long yet. So 
I'm keen to sort of test them more out off-road. Um, the next thing I want to go through is that I got some installed some new front radius arms on the Jimny as well. So these are from Fulcrum Suspension. So Formula 4x4 is the brand within Fulcrum Suspension. So they install that, all the different types of things like lift kits, which uh, we will actually be getting on the five door but they installed the front radius arm and the um, cross member as well and the overall steering on my car feels more solid in the front i must say that like that um, is something someone else has noticed as well but i felt like the handling of the car felt a lot better um, so that's something that, you know, if you're interested in upgrading a lot of these other things on your Jimny's. Uh, the other things I do have are the rock lights. They look absolutely so dirty under here right now. Um, I've driven through glass house to try and find a good spot to film and I ended up here, but I had to go through a little bit of mud. Uh, but yeah, the uh, rock lights, they um, have been on literally since I got the Jimny. Would I have installed them a bit differently now? Yes, probably. I have ripped them off on one side, so don't do what I did. Um, in the back, I installed them and basically the tire bumped up and ripped it off, so don't do that. The next thing that I have done is I have upgraded the front bumper. So this is not the standard bumper and this Suzuki emblem here that is from Roaming Horizons. Um, really cool, really love it. Makes it look a bit like a Ford, which is Nice. I thought it looked pr quite sleek with the car in itself. The other thing I've also done is just like a couple of genuine Suzuki accessories, like for example, the front bonnet protector. Uh, put this on just to protect the front. Like obviously there's a lot of rocks and things that um, get spit up by other cars in front of you. So sometimes it's good to protect just the front so you don't get in any paint chips and things like that. Another thing I've installed under my Jimny is the color-coded off-road bash plate. This is something I also got um, quite in the start of my little Jimny journey. Been super happy with it. I love that it's color coded to my Jimny and that's something they also do. So they do color code them and things like that. So you can get them in green and gray and all of that stuff. Um, really awesome, had it on for a long time and definitely something I recommend because it's taken a couple of hits, I can tell you that. The other things I've upgraded is, for example, the indicators on the side here. So the blinkers, so they are completely blacked out and I put on these little key holder thingies, little black key holder. I just I think that's just more of an aesthetic thing to do. Like this is not necessary in an upgrade. This is just me, you know, wanting it to look like all black and beige. The stickers I got on like basically in the beginning when I got the car, but yeah, I think they're actually fading a little bit. So we'll see if I need to upgrade them. Uh, so in the back, we got these uh, blacked out tail lights. So I got these from, um, I got these from Curious Customs. Uh, currently at the state they're in right now, they're probably not, 100% legal, but I didn't say that. What do you need to do to have these on technically is that you need to add a small reflector on them. I will do that eventually. That's just an FYI. If you're getting blacked out taillights, that is something you have to be a bit aware of in terms of um, driving around. You should technically have reflectors on them. Um, so the next thing I wanted to go through is actually the exhaust. And I will say, this is my favorite upgrade. The exhaust is the favorite thing I have installed on the whole journey, hands down. It makes it sound so much different. It is such a cool sound of this Torquid exhaust. I have now used it for almost a year. I would say it's actually a year and a half now since I got it installed. And the Torquid exhaust just sounds insane. It is so cool. I'll put in some videos, but if you have followed me on Instagram, I have posted heaps of stuff in terms of me driving around with the Torquid exhaust. It sounds amazing, so it's, it's really, really cool to do an upgrade like that if you can afford it. Just makes the car sound bigger than it is, I guess. But yeah, it's, uh, it's one of my favorite upgrades by far. The uh, setup in the back. So initially when I got my Jimny, I actually made my own rear drop down table. It is not hard to do. The only thing that's hard to do is getting it level because you can see that the Jimny door is not level. It is angled in a certain position, making the drop-down table actually go sort of sideways. So this drop-down table is from Kaon and I've had it now for a good year and we just installed it on the five door as well because I love the way this uh, table has been set up. And the other thing is that it doesn't rattle. I think there's a lot of tables out there that you know, are made by people who don't own Jimny's, for example. 
or don't have the input of a Jimny owner. So I know that um, Jimmy's Jimny, he actually helped Kayon sort of design this Kayon table or at least gave input to it, which I think has made it really cool and also really designed for the use that we are taking the gymnies through. Like the rattling, that's not something you want to listen to when you go off-road. So again, the K-On table has been awesome and they recently also released this little kitchenette set up here. So this is really cool and it actually packs in with the table and you just fold up the table and there you go. So the only thing that you sort of keep outside of this whole setup is this one and the little pole, which I have installed on the side of the car. So overall, super happy with that table. It's been really good. I think I'll stick to the outside of the car first so you guys can see what I've done. Uh, the awning is something I got three years ago and I haven't changed it out yet. I am very tempted to get a 270 awning, absolutely. I think the only reason why I didn't get a 270 awning in the beginning was because I was just, I'm just mindful of keeping the roof load under 30 kilos. Again, the roof rack, the light bar, uh, and the awning is around 30 kilos. So that's what I want to keep it on. I don't really want to go over. So again, that's something to, you know, be mindful of when you are installing stuff that's going to statically be on your car all the time. Try and keep it under 30 kilos, around 30, because yes, I understand when you go camping, you're going to be over. Everyone is, I get it. Um, still not a recommendation. You can do whatever you want. But again, I try and keep it under 30 so that when I drive it on the daily and if something happens, that's not anything that you know, your insurance company can blame you for. So yeah, this is the Dune four-wheel drive warning. It's just from Anaconda. It's a very simple one, literally $79. Lasted me for ages. It's lightweight, super easy to use. So yeah, nothing special with it. But again, I think hopefully I can get a 270 warning eventually, which will be awesome. The other things I got, is just like the genuine Suzuki uh, windshields here. These are really good. Like if it's raining, you know, you can have your window a little bit open and it doesn't come in. So it's really, really nice to just install those basic Suzuki accessories. Uh, the other thing we got is like window tinting. So I do have the darkest legal tint on the car. Just keeps it cooler in summer. My car is not really hot in summer, which is really nice. That's something to also, you know, that's something that's good to install in your car. The other thing I forgot to mention is that I also got rust proofing on my Jimny. So I go to this company on the Sunshine Coast, been operating for like 20 years. Uh, their name is DT Rust Proofing and they um, have done my rust proofing and top ups every year. So my car has been, you know, kept up the standard, making sure no rust builds up over time. Um, so definitely a thing you should consider if you live near the beach or even if you don't go up the beach that much if you live near it like I would definitely recommend getting rust proofing um, this is a ceramic clear coat rust proofing that I got super happy with it haven't had any major rust issues and I've gone up the beach a lot so again if you're not going up that much it's still gonna do you um, serve you well over the years and especially if you're selling it as well another favorite mod of mine is this beautiful snorkel this snorkel is from Meredith Melworks and I did a lot of research before I looked into snorkels. There's a lot of companies making snorkels out there, but the one that 100% stood out for me, looks-wise, design, material, you know, the effort that's been put into just, just the design and how it's angled on the chimney. Meredith Metalworks for me came out on top by far and this design has been done so well, the installation in itself, super happy with it. So that's definitely a snorkel we will actually be getting on the five door as well. So again, I'm taking a couple of modifications from this car, putting it on the five door because I am genuinely really happy with it and it's just served me so well and everyone's just saying how much they love the look of it and feel of it and again it's a it's an awesome mod that i definitely would recommend you guys looking into if you want a snorkel and stainless steel uh for i think it's four inch um really sturdy quality on it as well and it sticks a little bit above the the actual door here which i think is nice some of them sort of cut a bit shorter but again i really love the the design of this one a couple of other things i got going on the chimney is i got the kick ass shower awning had it on since basically 2021. Uh, it's been there for a long time. It's sitting on the Rax Brax quick release brackets. So this makes it just easy for me to pop it on if I don't wanna, you know, drive around with it all the time. Although I do basically have it on all the time. I rarely take it off. The other thing I do have is a water tank on the top of the car. It's currently not sitting on top there at the moment, but it is a 14 and a half liter water tank that I use my air compressor to blow up. And then I have a shower that I can use with the shower running. A good thing with the shower running is that you can also use it for, you know, sh um, changing. So it's not just for showering. So that's also why I basically stole it from my partner's car a long time ago. He's forgotten about it now, but I figured out I was using it more. So, you know, it, you know it's all in all fairness, 
it was meant for me. But yeah, so in terms of the, the roof of the car, do have the Steady ST3K 31.5 inch light bar. Did you remember it? So this light bar has been awesome. I love it. Like it is, um, it is such a bright light bar. Like you can see so far with it. Um, this is something I got back in 2021 as well when I installed it. Um, I do have an installation video on the light bar on my YouTube channel already, but that's a light bar I've been super happy with. And I love the sleek design of it. it just sits right under the roof rack, literally like probably two millimeters away from the roof. So I've done a, done a pretty good job here with, um, with the measurements. But other than that, in terms of the roof rack, this is an 18 kilo roof rack. So it is quite light. So it gives me another 12 kilo to work with in terms of daily driving, having a couple of things on the car without having to strip it completely blank. Um, there's a couple of roof racks, like for example, the front runner roof rack does weigh around 29, 28 kilos. So it is a very heavy roof rack. It looks awesome, looks really nice, but again, I chose this roof rack and it's just from eBay, um, from a manufacturer on there. And I chose that roof rack because I just thought it looked really cool. It had the grids, so it makes it easy for me to strap down everything on the car here and there. Yeah, again, the weight was probably the biggest reason to why I went with that roof rack itself. So I got this um, GME antenna on top of my roof. The other day I drove into the garage like this. So don't do that. Um, it's not recommended. It does bend in all different ways and directions. I mean, it is it is uh, soft, but it's just a bracket that's not ideal. There's different ways you can install this. You can install it on your uh, on the front. If you have a bull bar, you can install it in the back on the door. Um, I installed it up here because they sort of the bracket for the back door wasn't here yet, like it wasn't invented, I guess. Um, and I didn't have I don't have a bull bar, so I didn't want it in the front. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put it on the roof. It works fine, and I got great reception. Like so, it's pretty good. I can hear people from so far away. So overall, I'm happy with having it there. But again, like it's just certain things that you have to be mindful of. But I think now we're going to head into the engine bay because I do have a couple of things in there that I want to show you as well. So in the engine, I've done a couple of things. Um, just a couple of easy mods first, I guess. I've installed these uh, gas straps on the side of the car. So the bombers just goes easily up and down. This was actually a video I just posted on Instagram just on how to install it super easy you can do it yourself um, just get someone to help you hold the bonnet when it's loose when you're installing the bits and pieces small things you can do to the chimney without costing heaps of money the other thing i have installed in this car is the arb air compressor so this is also one of the first mods that i did to my chimney it served me well in terms of you know pumping up my tires not having to go to the servo um, pumping off my water tank um, and you can also pump up other things you can buy like different brackets and not brackets but um I guess mouthpieces or things, I don't know what you call them, but you can pop that on the actual hose and then you can blow up your floaties and things like that. But overall the air compressor has been really good. It is a single air compressor and for the Jimny, to be honest, you probably don't need anything bigger than the single because it's gonna serve you well in terms of the tire sizes on the Jimny. it's not that big. So you probably don't need um, a dual compressor unless you got other things that you need to pump up. Uh, the other thing is that I do have the Torque It airbox. It looks awesome, looks fantastic. And I think the pretty cool thing with the airbox is that it sort of complements the snorkel and the exhaust itself. So when you've got the snorkel, you've got the airbox and you've got the exhaust, the sound that the, this car makes now in comparison to when it didn't have either or, it's just so different. Like the sound is so nice. It's a really nice tune to it. I think with the, even with the Torque It exhaust, it sounded way better after around 2000 kilometers. So after you sort of, you know, driven it in a little bit, the tune is really nice on this car. I really love it. That's something I installed myself as well. So that was actually not that hard. I was surprised because I thought that was going to be a challenge. It was fine. I do have a new battery because I my battery went flat on one trip when I was charging my battery and I forgot to plug it out. Uh, the other thing I do have in here, yeah. So underneath the air compressor, there is a bracket that is from TLR. So TLR creates a lot of different things for the Jimny and heaps of other things. So you can definitely go and check that out because they have a lot of great brackets that fit perfectly in the Jimny, in the engine bay, under the seat, etc. The other thing I do have is this um don't know what to call it but basically what this does it doesn't only look nice like you it sort of protects the panel here from heat etc but it also reduces the noise from the engine so i did notice that when i installed it the engine didn't sound as hectic um so that was nice so i did get that quite early on as well it's been great having all these small bits and pieces and you know even the the bonnet protector and things like that and in terms of other things on the chimney 
I don't think there's anything more on the outside that I have done. I don't have a long range of tank on this one or anything. Might be getting it on the five door. We'll, uh, we'll have a look about that. But um, yeah, so there's not really anything else that I have installed on my Jimny uh, on the outside. So I think we should move into the inside. So please excuse the messy inside of my Jimny. I have been driving through Glasshouse now and it is a little bit muddy and things like that. But, uh, so what I, just to start off with what I've done with the inside of the car. So I have installed a dash cam for Blackview. So that's a 4K dash cam front and rear. But yeah, so I don't have an extra battery for it, but it does record every time I drive in a couple of minutes or two after I park my car as well. So. Uh, the other thing I do have is, for example, these flip-up brackets from APO. So these are the drink holders that I got through Jimny Style and Street Track Life. Um, in terms of my opinion on them, so I think they look really sleek, but I'm going to be honest, they're not as sturdy as any other static drink holders that you sort of mount and bolt in there. So these are a bit more flimsier, I guess, but at the same time, I do like them because they look very sleek and they're not sort of in the way. Um, I really like them, but I wouldn't put like too heavy stuff in it. But again, I'm happy with them. Like they're really nice and I can easily take them off. You actually just, just screw them off and take them off. So uh, the other thing I do have is the 3D floor mats down here. Um, I've had them the whole time as well. They're pretty good. Yeah, I mean, they molded to the car. There's certain things I feel like maybe wasn't as molded, but again, I'm pretty, pretty happy with them. You know, they're super easy to clean and things like that. Uh, the other things I do have is the GME radio just mounted on this little bracket here. So that one's really nice to just pop on there. Sits there nice and sturdy. Um, I do have also this shift gear panel um, for the automatic version. So I have an automatic chimney. So this one turns on and off so I can actually see the, the lights or where I'm putting the, the gear stick or whatever you call it. Yeah, it's nice to just to be able to see in the dark. Sometimes it's been so dark, I don't even know if I'm putting it in drive on a reverse. Yes, I mean, it's, it's not a necessary mod, but it's a nice mod to have, I will say that. Uh, it's plugged in by USB, but you can hardwire it as well. A uh, car mount holder here, serves me well, nothing sort of too special with it. It's from Snap Wireless, like I do like it. It's just sometimes a little bit flimsy going off-road. So I think there's a couple of other that might be more sturdier for you if you're going a lot off-road. Do you have this little uh, mid-console thing, mid-console thing? That's what I was gonna say. It doesn't hold like any bigger cups than like general cups but yeah serves me well it's fine but again they're just like 10 bucks so it's nothing nothing big in that sense what i do really love though is this armrest from uh street track life and jimny style so this is the armrest i actually installed into the driver's seat so it was a very quick install and it just folds up like that and then you can adjust the height and things like that but i can still use the cup holders down here so again that's a really cool mod this is the throttle controller from talk it before i got the throttle controller I felt the car was always like so like sluggish in a sense like it wasn't quite giving me the feel of being a normal car responding normally to when I asked it to like go off a red light to green light like it wasn't getting there but with the throttle controller it's just changed that again like people are like oh but it doesn't give you more horsepower and I'm like no but it reduces the throttle lag so again I'm getting there quicker in the beginning and that's all I care about and it's been awesome like I really like it mark my words I would have gotten the throttle controller from day dot I got my Jimny that's just that's just how I feel about it but again people might not like it people might have a different opinion that's of course fine but again the throttle controller is something I would have bought from day dot the other thing I do have is like just a genuine Suzuki dash mat cover up here it's really nice to put in there so it doesn't get too hot, especially here in Queensland in summer, it is really hot. The other thing I've also done is a speaker upgrade, but you can't actually see that, but I've put in um, some two-way speakers in the front, makes it just the sound much better. As you know, the speakers that come with the uh, 2021 Jimny at least, it wasn't that great. It just didn't sound that amazing. So. so I don't currently have the cargo box, as you can see here. I've actually taken it out because I do have the K on table. So they sort of collide a little bit. In my opinion, it's not a design fault. It's more understanding that this table drops down and then it folds up and it's a little bit higher than general tables, meaning that you can place more stuff on it. When I took that out, I actually realized I had way more space in here. I can just put a lot more stuff in here, which is works fine for me. Oh, oh no, I made it dirty now. Oh man. Um, yeah, so in the back, I got these uh, headrest things hanging on the side here with this little bracket. Again, bracket from eBay or something 
five ten dollars can't remember moving over this way i got the mole panel so this is i think this is one of the uh the mole panels from this is the one from legend x that was like their first initial one that they were trying out heaps of mole panels out there at the moment so definitely you know check out which one that you like if you're considering getting one i got some military bags i've also linked them in my bio so that's the other thing with this whole video most of my modifications that i have on this jimmy is in my link in bio. So if you go on my Instagram, my TikTok, and if you go on YouTube, there is a link to my links account and that will list all the modifications for the three door and eventually all the mods for the five door. So that's where you'll be able to find all of the things that I get, I guess, asked about the most with my car. So this one is a Anderson input. So I've installed this myself. So that's something you can do as well. Just run it through to the front. Uh, but that leads to the main battery. So again, if you have a VSR or whatever you call it, like a the input, once your car is off, then you know you can plug it in and have it going all the time. But I just remember to basically pop my cables out when I'm standstill. So, but I guess with that, guys, this was the full video of all the mods that I actually have on my Jimny. So in terms of the, this video today, there's a lot of stuff that I bring with me camping that is currently not on the car. And these are also linked in my links account that I just mentioned. And again, you can find a lot of the things like, for example, the, the Max tracks that I'm using. I have a Max tracks harness. I have, you know, the water tank is in there. And it, also my rear drawer setup. I've done an installation video of that on my Instagram as well. So you can check that out. Um, so again, there's a lot of things that you know i bring camping on a regular basis but in terms of the things that are constantly on my car this is it these are the installations i've done to it there's not you know a lot more to do on the chimney but there will be things coming on it um there will be a couple of more bits and pieces here and there you know maybe we change the look of things you know there's always things happening uh but again i think the car that will have the biggest changes moving forward now it will be the five door chimney for a lot of people <laughs> It is controversial, I get it. The five door Jimny is, you know, maybe not what people expected it to be. It might have flaws and I will cover this in the other videos as well. So that's something that you should definitely stay tuned for because now we do own a five door Jimny and a three door Jimny. And I feel like having owned this one for three years now, we will be able to give you really good insight into maybe what type of Jimny you should be getting for your circumstances and what we love about each one of them and what we love more about the other. So that's definitely a video that will be coming out. But for now, I really hope that you guys got a bit more insight into what I've done with my three door Jimny. And I really hope that you can also let me know if there's any of these modifications that you've done as well that you're happy with, if there's something you would have changed, if there's other things that you would recommend me doing to my Jimny, like please pop them in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for all the cool content that's about to come. But until then, I hope to see you guys soon back on this channel for a lot of more content for the three door and the five door jimmy i'll see you then